Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Wibby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome, for the first time on the podcast, ex-watching member Johnny Chang. <laughs> up, pleasure, player? bro. Pleasure, pleasure. Oh, man. I'm a little nervous, man. <laughs> yeah. No worries. I think you're our first... No, Bart's been here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I've Bart. been fascinated with your... I found you on um, my YouTube algorithm. Oh, really? Popped up, I'm like, oh, this guy looks interesting. And then I saw you on Vlad TV. Yeah. Was that crazy or what? That was pretty crazy. Yeah, that's a huge platform. Yeah, and huge, huge, yeah, huge. Yeah. And Soft then I seen you, uh, China Mac. You did some with China Mac. Yeah, Mac shout Eats. Out. Yeah, Mac Eats. Yeah. Shout out to China Mac. Yes, yeah, sir, China Mac. Yeah, bro. how'd you guys link up? You and China Mac. Um, so we met through Cinemills TV. I was on this other um show called Cinemills. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah, Marcus yeah. um linked us together, and and it was we just hit it off, man. Chemistry is great. That's the bro, man. I I talk to him almost every day. Really? Yeah, almost every day. Yo, can you put in a good word for me? Because I've been trying to reach out to that guy for over a year. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. After China this. Mac, dude, like. I like your music, man. I like your story. I seen your interview with Jin. Yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. shit. Um, yeah, is he is he a nice guy? He's a he's a he's a solid dude. We call him a solid individual, man. He's 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 the bro for sure. He's really been in the pen in, the, in New York. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I follow his story. Yeah, he's he's really about that life, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's like reform, doing the right thing, yeah. and like positive. Yeah. Have you heard his rapping too? I did. He he's, has he's skills, vicious on bro. Yeah. He's pretty vicious on the mic. Yeah, man. China Mac, I do. I produce too, brother. So you know, if you need some beats, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm old school, baby. I got Yo. SP three hundred three, baby. Yo. Holler at me, China Mac. <laughs> <laughs> you think I get along with him? I think you would. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do. Sometimes I do gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm you know what I mean. Because I know a lot of them tough guys. We're gonna get to the watching the whole gang thing. For sure. But you know, I know in that. In the gang life, that's a no-no, right? Yeah, that's that's kind of... So what are some rules no -no. in, like, what are some gang rules that you should just know? Um, yeah, don't snitch, right? That's number snitch, one. Yeah. Like, you see, like, Scarface and, right, right. and a Goodfellas and movies. Go ahead. Yeah, so yeah. number one, you can't be a rat. Yeah, don't be a rat. Mm -hmm. um, don't don't be a thief. Don't steal. Steal from your homie? Yeah, don't oh, steal a, from the homies. That's a tune-up. That's bad. You get tuned up for that? Yeah, you or get... Or kicked out of the gang? No, you get tuned up, you get DP'd, or you can get kicked out. It just oh, depends. Wait, for those viewers, because I have a lot of nerds and gamers and stuff and skaters, what is all that? Because we said a whole bunch of terminology. I know just because I do a lot of research. Yeah. But what is tune up and DP'd? What does all that mean? So tune up is kind of i actually never heard of tuna but but i know what you mean by that it's just like getting beat up basically mm -hmm. kind of getting checked is what they call it right yeah and yeah, then yeah, yeah, dp yeah. is is um discipline right discipline is that yeah, more yeah. of a prison um yeah term it's a prison term okay yeah, yeah. so you can't rat you can't steal from your homie right what else you can't be a rapist you can't be oh, that's a, a child no molester yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. then in prison you'll get you'll get uh, uh, stabbed up for that. Absolutely. You'll how, get do, how do people find out in prison? Uh, it's called paperwork. Okay, so what does that mean? Like I don't know. So they how do they get a hold of that from from a? a so a when guard? you when you go to a prison, you have to bring your your folder, and it has all your court uh, your criminal file. They call it a C file, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then with that people will check the paperwork yeah yeah, yeah 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 and then when they see if you if you have a jacket which means either a child mean? molester yeah. it's a bad mark oh basically. it's a bad mark yeah ch uh, a child molester mm -hmm. rapist 
snitch they'll roll and and nine times out of ten the cops and the police is not going to allow these snitches to walk the yard i mean they already know they check it out they see that they let's say they're a snitch or a rat they're not going to let them into general population they'll ship them to pc which is protective custody or like sny special needs you know um yeah so that's what bill cosby went through I, i'm pretty sure yeah <clears throat> but he got released you heard that i i didn't hear about okay that. yeah he got yeah. released um, but he probably had a lot of money too. Yeah, I'm, can yeah. you can you bro- can you pay off the guards or the prison, uh, or the warden or something? I think you can pay it off. I think you can pay off people still, and um, you can definitely live better if you have money in there as well. Oh, cause uh, what's the what's the thing called the store you could go to? Commissary. So so what's up with the commissary? What 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 kinds of items can you get there? Uh, you could get everything, man. You can get ramen noodles. You can get Chinese sausage. You can't you get Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> can you get Doritos? <laughs> some uh, you could actually get like you kind of a no, like a knockoff brand. Let of me Doritos. just throw some some curveballs at you. Yeah. Uh, like, can you get this chewing tobacco? No, you cannot get. Okay, so you can't get chewing tobacco. No. Can you get Funyuns? Mm, yes, you can get Funyuns. Can I get a Snickers bar? Like I'm craving a candy bar. <laughs> yes. Can I get a Snickers bar? Yeah, you can get something Skittles. Like that. Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but. What if this happens? Okay, so I have some scenarios. And this is, you know, because I don't know much about the... I, I, I'm fascinated with that life, though, because sure. of movies, you know, um, Boys in the Hood, and uh, what's the other one where... Uh, the, the oh, Menace to Society, remember yeah, at the yeah, beginning, yeah. the Korean liquor Hurry store owners? Hurry up and buy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, you mentioned, too, like... Uh, because you got kind of like um, recruited, kind of. Yes. They, they, they kind of, where are you from? Yeah. Right? So that that's a common thing they, they say on the street, where are you from? Yeah, they'll be like, they bang on you. That's called being banged on. Okay, so I'm going to give you some, some scenarios. All right. You're them, <clears throat> right? And I'm you. Okay. Okay, so ask me where I'm from. Where are you from, bro? I'm, I'm a skateboarder. <laughs> I skate. <laughs> then do I get a pass? You do. Okay, ask me again. Yeah. Where are you from, bro? I'm from the Micro Dicks essay. <laughs> <laughs> See, that cuts you off guard. So Micro would they bang on me? They, they would probably think you're a weirdo and just laugh at you. Oh, they would just laugh at me. Yeah, they would. And they would feel bad. They're like, oh, this fool's got a small dick. <laughs> well, leave him alone, fool. Right? I think they would think you're high. Like, if only, I was like smoking shirt? Yeah, like okay. you were shermed out. But if I said it with like... Like, uh, from the micro dicks essay <laughs> like if i said it like that we would just and die. i walk up to the car and i like i go what's up fool i'm from the micro dicks essay you got a problem or when i said that you got we, a problem we would still think you're shermed out but if, what if i held it and i got from the micro dicks <laughs> fool i got from the micro dicks fool you guys got a problem you guys know where you're at or what <laughs> if i did that they would still give me a pass absolutely okay um okay what well, i mean give me another scenario what if I, I did the right thing. Do you have to be Chinese to join watching? Uh, back in my time, yeah. I don't know. Really? About yeah. So what does watching stand for? I've always wondered that. Chinese youth. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Chinese youth. Okay, but what if, okay, like I'm going to give you a scenario. What if I did the right thing? I'm a Chinese guy in Alhambra, whatever, somewhere around that area. I start hanging out with you guys. Mm-hmm. But you notice through time, you're like, this fool's a little feminine. Like, I would do stuff like I'd open the door for you or, and then, like, I would, you know, I would get you little, like, gifts, you know, like, yeah. I'd get you, like, maybe, a, like, a payday candy bar. <laughs> but then, slowly, I started, like, you know, a Hallmark card. Hey, yeah, yeah. you've been a really good homie to me. <laughs> and then, and then I spray it with, like, perfume or something. <laughs> like, the, the fucking card. Like, how would you, but, but then you don't know, though. But you don't know. I, I think. But what, how, <coughs> what, how would you deal with that? But this guy's tough. Like, listen, I'm tatted. Like, I got, I'm tatted like you are, <clears throat> and I'm down for the, the 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 crew, the gang, and everything. I think as soon as you get to the Hallmark card, you're you're out, bro. You're gonna what do you get mean? jumped Wait, How out. would you deal with me? How would you deal with me? Yeah, but I'm ju- tough. Like, I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't rat you out. I didn't steal nothing from you. I've been a good homie to you. But the era that we're from, we just we can't handle that, you bro. You can't handle yeah, it. Yeah, we would just see that and be like, yo, this guy's like fruity. Fr- so is that what you yeah. call it? Yeah, yeah. What if I just gave you okay? Cause you guys did, like you guys drink boba, right? Mm, back in my time, not really, but okay, yeah. Okay, but yeah. what would it be equivalent to that in your time? Um, like an ice cream or something, <laughs> or you know, like a frozen ice cream. Uh, Thrifty's ice cream. You remember Thrifty's? Yeah, okay, I remember it, right? dude, that's, bomb, dude, that's bomb ass. That's, that's bomb ass ice cream. 
Yeah, they had the, the, the cube. The rocky scoops. road. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. But what if I did this? I went above and beyond. I go, hey, homie, I know you like this rocky road, dude. I got you a gallon, like, cartons of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You that would, think that would be cool. That, that would, would be, cool? be cool. Yeah, we'd be like, dang, this guy's the thrifty ice cream plug, bro. And then you guys put down beers back then, right? You yeah, guys of drink, course. Like, yeah, kickbacks yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always the one that got you guys Coronas, and I, I bought all the beer all the time. That, and I always supplied the weed. That would be cool. That's not, so okay, let me, and I'm going to progress into something yeah, else. Yeah. But then slowly, you notice too, I, I got a bunch of like, you know, we're having a party, you know, and I, I you know, within the, the, the 12 packs, I have like flowers <laughs> that I bought. You know what I'm saying? Like I bought flowers, but it's not for a particular person. And they, well, you wouldn't think nothing of that. I, I would. You, <coughs> what, a flowers, bro? Yeah, bro. So that's a, in that gang life, that that's a no-go. Bro, flowers are only for funerals, bro. Oh, oh. We don't we don't even get it for our girls. So what if I uh, got a, a rose, one rose? <laughs> but there's other. Uh, uh, there, but how deep were you guys back then? How deep is the whole clique back then? It was hundreds for sure. It was hundreds. Yeah, so all of us would just clown you, probably like, mm. bro, you brought a rose, bro. Like, what's wrong with you? And then if you keep doing it, then it's like, all right, this is kind of too much. Like, let's beat his ass. Oh, okay. Oh, so that was a that'd be a, a Yeah. All right. That's forget the about check. the rose and the flowers. Okay, I'm coming up with. The, I'm freestyling this shit, bro. What if I do this? Okay, so because you guys sag back then, right? And then what was the attire and shit like? Did you guys have a uniform or what's the deal with that? <laughs> it, we dressed like essays back then. Essay so Cortez's, jacket, Cortez's, Chinko Chucks. Chucks, Chinko jeans, yeah. Ben Davis, Dickies. What if I had the whole getup? I had the whole kit. Yeah. Gray, fucking, <clears throat> you know, end up like fucking, yeah, the fucking yeah. snap back, the whole shit. But then I fucking, I dropped my cigarette. And I bend over, and then you're like, you know, because you guys probably wore boxer shorts and shit, yeah. but then you saw I was wearing a G-string. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, deal with that. Yo, deal That's with another that. check, bro. They that's check a check? It. Yeah, but bro. But, dude, that's my preference as far as, like, undergarments and underwear, dog. <laughs> That's a but check. That, but but listen, you're yeah, yo, you're go rep ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you're representing something bigger than yourself. Oh, that's what's up. So when you go out there that's and I'm representing and, the gang, <laughs> and like that, that I'd be repping the gang wrong. Yeah. And Damn. And they'll beat your ass for that. Oh, they would beat they would they beat my beat ass. You for okay, that, so bro. how would that go down? Like let's say it's at a party. No, dude, there's a keg, dog. So it's a kegger. You know what I mean? You yeah. guys had kegs back then. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh, and then I you know, I'm I'm in the line to get the beer, right? And then you notice I, you know, I drop my cigarette and then I bend down and the, but then the other homies are like around and I bend down and you you see a pink thong, dog, <laughs> straight up. You're like, oh. And then would you go like this and nudge your homie and go, dude, what's up with, or what what would you do? How would you deal with that? I think I would just punch you right away. <laughs> you would. I wouldn't nudge anybody. I would nudge you. You would punch to the back of the so head. So there would be no communication or explanation, dude. They would just look, and I'll, I'll be that's like... That's a no-go. That's a no-no. That's yeah. a no-no. No. How, damn, dude, that's crazy. <clears throat> Pink thong, bro. That's, yeah, yeah. What if it was, uh, like, um blue? No, bro, they don't matter it the color, It doesn't matter what color. So it doesn't matter what color it is. That's a fuck... That's a tune-up, bro. Yeah. Okay, that's a tune-up for sure. What else would be, like, a tune-up? Like, <clears throat> you mentioned ratting, stealing... I guess obviously no thongs. Yeah, no thongs. <laughs> what else? No roses. No none of that. Yeah, you can't act feminine, bro. So you gotta, you gotta just be t solid all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What What if um, you get real sad? Can you cry in front of the homies? Uh, they feel like that's weird if you do that. Really? Yeah, expressing your feelings is weird, bro. Really, really. It really so, is. So so what? Because because you're human, dude. So you have to express that on your own, like, away from them. I think the only time you could cry is if somebody dies, like your homie dies. That's only appropriate occasions. Yes. Damn, that's crazy. So what other no-nos are there? Oh, I had another question. <laughs> so in, in, like, when, you know, during the watching days and everything, were there, like, how did you guys date? Could you date outside the gang? Uh, Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. what if it's a... Uh, a Hispanic woman, mm -hmm. and she's a part of a different gang. That happens. And then, how does that? Then, how do you work through that? You gotta explain that to the homies. I think have that's a meeting about that. Not necessarily, but I think that's why a lot of gang wars started was because, because of, of that's yeah. crazy over a woman. <clears throat> oh, 
Yes, sir. So, so you you might just oh, and then their homie like well, let's say it's uh their brothers find out the Armanos be like, dude, what's Arman- up? You, Arman- you're dating a chino fool. <laughs> you're dating a pinchy chino. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's a no go, right? I don't think I don't think a lot of the the cholas back then the the, the girls dated Asians though. Really? I, yeah, that we used to have all the ABGs, the Asian baby girls, right? The wait, 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 write that down, write that <coughs> down. That oh, th- that's what it's called. Yeah, ABGs. Okay, so you guys didn't have to go outside the community. You had nah, your ABGs. Right, we had the the. I don't want to call them that, but yeah, we yeah, had yeah, the yeah. women, Asian baby girls. Yeah. That's that's fine. I mean, yeah. that's you know, that's a different time period, and I don't think that is that that's not condescending or nothing, right? That's just the term they used back then. It's still a term. That's yeah. still a term. Asian yeah, baby yeah, girls. ABGs. Um. So how does uh how did they are do they know what they're getting into, or do they only date Asian gang dudes? Yeah, some of these girls were do like. You, you've, you've heard of this? Gang me- chicks were in gangs too, like other sides. What? Yeah. They so, represented so like was, the men, basically. Really? But as it, it, just another faction of, of, but they were women. It was a girl gang. So it was a watching <coughs> chapter, but a woman's chapter? hmm And how did they operate? Same way. Really? Yeah. So there's rules with it? Absolutely. How did they dress? Banged out, too. They had flannels, chucks, Cortez's, long belts, W, you know, uh, a belt buckle. like. Yeah. What kind of makeup they do it? They would. They did like chola makeup back then. They did. They draw on their eyebrows, bro. Like sharpie and the sharpie. Sharpie, bro. Damn. What'd y'all drive back then? Hoopties, eh, eh, Honda Civics, uh, everything. Acura, Integras. I mean, all that. Rice That's rockets. Crazy. And yeah. then what you guys? What kind of music did you bump? Like, can you listen to R and B? Uh, no, I don't think you can listen to. What's R&B. up, man? <laughs> Dude, I grew up in the 90s too, bro. Belle Bib DeVoe. Come on, man. New edition. What's up, man? That's that's soft. Troop is soft. I think people would, would listen to that on their own. But back Yo, then, it really? would be some gang stuff. Like You can't listen to New Edition? <laughs> I don't, so. Whoa. I don't think so, bro. I think when you're trying to get robbed, so it's all Cool G edition. rap and NWA, yeah, and, NWA, and, and, Tupac, and, Tupac. And early to for me, it was like late '90s, early 2000s. So, what about the weirdo '90s hip hop, like UMCs, yeah, and yeah, 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 Dream Warriors and shit like I'm that, sorry. or the Far Side? Can you bump <clears throat> Far Side? I think the homies would bump some stuff. They'll bump Far Side. Yeah, yeah. A Bone Thugs, obviously. Bone thugs, obviously, yeah. Obviously. Bone thugs what and about? East, uh, northern, like E forty and shit like that. I think they did. I think they did. Like um, R R D L and all those other people from the Bay Area. E forty. Yeah, E forty. Mm-hmm. The coup. Can you yeah, yeah, yeah. bump the coup and shit? <laughs> I think so. No, cause uh, cause I'm into music. I yeah, it yeah, fascinates yeah. me because yeah. you know I know there's uh gangster rap, there's right. weirdo rap, there's right. uh backpack rap. That's Can true. you listen to like like hieroglyphics like Dell the Funky Homo Sapien? And I don't shit? think they. W- I don't think they would listen to stuff like that. Well, but the beats are fucking dope. Yeah. No? Uh, I think we need to hear stuff like kill and murder and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, bro. But what about East Coast? No, that's a no? Go. Uh, East Coast back then, they I think it would just be the mainstream dudes like Biggie Smalls and, and you know. What about like um, Wu-Tang? Wu-Tang, yeah, yeah. They so they get a pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can listen to Wu Tang or anybody. You can listen to Old Dirty Bastard, yeah, Method ODB. Man, right. Capadonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ra- uh, uh, Raekwon, yeah, any Nas, of them. Nas, Raekwon, Mob Deep, <clears throat> Mob Deep. For that sure. gets a, That's interesting, man. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's so many other kinds of. What about Gangstar? Gangstar, I think yeah. I mean, I've had some homies listen to him. I I personally because that's kind of like some nerd, a little bit uh, uh, nerd, yeah, not yeah. nerdy, but it's like jazz rap, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, so know you know who you know jazz rap? <laughs> I don't think so. You know who who we actually listen to? Shout out Ty v- Viet G, Ty V G. Okay, shout out to him. Yeah, dude. he's he was uh back then he had a song. Um, it's the Vietnamese gang that song like yeah yeah you remember yeah. that song yeah yeah that song people would bump that and then yeah all the OG TRG dudes like those little shadow and all them like we would actually listen to gang music so like are you that. guys cool with TRG uh dudes? yeah 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 we are but you ain't cool with Asian <coughs> boys though right now well now, now you most are. of my people are really yeah, yeah, yeah. so how many Asian cliques so there's is, what is it, TRG is tiny rascal Mm-hmm. Okay, so are they so so? How many different cliques are? Because there's not many Asian 
cliques, right? right? So the main ones are Asian boys, TR, and the, are there a feel like subgroups of them, or how does that work? I mean, there's a lot. There's nowadays, I don't know, I don't, I can't speak for them, but yeah. for me, I know in the San Gabriel Valley alone, there's so many different gangs. Really? Yeah, yeah. TRG wasn't really in the San Gabriel Valley like that. They were hmm. more like Long Beach, um, <clears throat> Fresno, but for us, yeah, like like. San Gabriel Valley was just so many different Asian gangs. I can't even name them. There's more than 10 for sure. So there's ones called maybe the Vietnamese Boys or something? Yeah, there's Viet Boys. Mm-hmm. Were there, was there a gang? Because I'm Korean. Mm-hmm. Are there all Korean? Was there all Korean gangs? There's Korean neighborhoods in, in K-Town. So, but well, there's gangs within, because I've heard kind of in the mm-hmm. past, like Kimchi Crew or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no Kimchi Crew. I don't think I'm sorry. No <laughs> to, I apologize to the homies, Dom and Rick and all them. I yeah. thought there was. Oh, right. I thought there was, but there isn't. I've never heard of a Kimchi yeah. Crew, bro. So where do the Koreans <clears throat> go if they want to be a part of the whole thing? Uh, back then, if they wanted to be a part of it. Koreatown. I know, but there what 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 were there Korean oh, what gangs? gangs? Yeah, probably like I don't know LGKK and Home Burger and and there's like a lot of different. Um, Dude, Home Burger, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's the name of a gang. I think so. Yeah, that's, that's a, a OG, pretty. That's an OG gang too. Like, that's a real been one. Been around for a while. Yeah, right down Home Burger. <laughs> So what game? How did you get their name? I think it's Home Burger, or Burger Town. I forget. It's okay, something. That's burger. even cooler, Burger Town. Yeah, something like that. Dude. You know? No, no disrespect. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. There's no disrespect <laughs> here. So there's but Burger. Yeah. Uh, so Home Burger. Yeah, I think that's, so. They're from K Town. Yeah. There's LGKK. There's. Well, like what does a that lot stand for, dude? Last you're going gener- fast, dude. This is I because you're like a professor to me. Like I'm trying to learn from you. Last <laughs> generation Korean killers. You know. Wait, write that down. <laughs> that should be a movie. Last generation <laughs> Korean. Wow, dude. How do you know? So how do you know? It's a whole, it's almost like you guys are like in a superhero universe, like where only you guys know about this stuff. How I learned is like in, in prison. When you go to prison, yeah, you, go ahead, drop, you, drop knowledge on you me, dude. meet everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and, and that's where you, you start to realize that all this gang stuff is BS. When did you realize that? When I was in prison. I well, started to realize that, okay, I'm supposed to beef it with my enemies and and i'm sitting here sharing spread spread is like prison they food, make food, food right yeah. yeah it's like prison cuisine if you will yeah. and um yeah so so that was that was crazy i was like this guy's uh, enemy opposition but he's actually really cool we have the same type of background his father was an alcoholic mother was buddhist he was beat you know he was robbed he was bullied and you wow. know we have like this and i'm like you just represent one side and i'm representing this side but he's but an asian guy right yeah so is that how it works it's a race card yes so you got to go with your race yes absolutely so in the asian is it card or car car car, car. car like a car. oh car in the yeah. asian car mm-hmm. um you have koreans vietnamese filipinos it's everything yeah so it's not called the asian car it's actually called the other car Others. Oh, you guys the yes, others. Yes, because we have Polynesians, we have Native Americans. They're not Asian. Samoans. Samoans. Damn. We have um, Puerto Ricans. We have um, Armenian. Some of the Armenians run with the Mexicans, but you know what? Yeah. Where do they go? Yeah, where do the Armenians go? Yeah, what like you got with Arabs, the Asians? Yeah, they come with the others. The others. What about um, Iranians? <clears throat> Same thing. So they're they're a part of the whole clique. Indians, Ar- Arabs. Middle East and all that they come. So you seen Indians in prison? Too? I've seen a, a, a couple. It very rare. Pakistani? Indian. Yeah. Uh, never Pakistani. Yeah. I've seen a uh, um Jordanian. Jordan. Mm. Jordan. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even because that that boggles my mind because <laughs> on the street it's like that's you have your gang right, but right. then in prison it's a whole different thing. Right? Absolutely. So how do y'all get along then? I mean, isn't it for beef at first, like, because you're, you're, no, your there's, ego and stuff? There's politics. There's rules and regulations. So because can you, can you name a few? So a lot of it is like sticking together because it's a numbers thing, mm-hmm, right? You, mm-hmm. you, you can't. It's like a race thing now. So it's not you have to drop all your gang beef. You don't have to drop your gang affiliation, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but you have to drop your beef. You do. You do. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And then um, you guys just work together as a unit because it really is um, – uh, if if you if you get into it one race, let's say like the the Asians get into it with I don't know the blacks, then it's not a one on one thing. It has to be a whole riot. Oh, it's like American Me. Pretty much, that's very very <laughs> accurate. American it it me. is. Yeah. Okay, because I remember that scene. Remember, uh, except for all the I think except for all the raping. So that that doesn't go down. <clears throat> In California, you 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 don't really they don't allow that. 
it causes too much problems on the yard so they don't they don't allow rape you know people to rape each other and stuff but but yeah. there's gay aren't there gays there yeah but those people are either in the closet or they're on a, a different type of yard called a pc yard so uh they're do you have to tell the pro i mean not the pro the, uh, one the of the guard, officer, yeah the warden mm-hmm. or something hey i i I'm, i like dudes i mean yeah Pretty and then much. they they ship you to a different yeah they roll you up to another, another okay yard. but what if you well, this happens where you are but you just keep it inside yeah then you stay on the yard because no one would know and then what's the showering like in, uh, in prison I don't, it's it's nuts and butts bro like i know i know but is it like how does it work is it do you have individual stalls or is there no, a huge it's just it there's is a huge like you know like when you ha- like in middle school there's a whole open shower yeah it's open okay let me give you another scenario <laughs> Dude, just bear with me, dude. Just bear with me. Yeah. There's this little, there's a little um, Vietnamese dude, right? And he's, dude, he's, he's fucking, he's, you could tell he's, he's little, but he's buff, and you could tell like, oh, this dude's down. He's fucking, he's down for the cause. Yeah, yeah he's in our car, <coughs> whatever. He's in our, you know, the others. And then during shower time, do you, can you bring your, you have your own bars of soap? Yeah. Okay. You notice that he keeps dropping his soap. And then you're like, oh, this, you know, he's tripping. And then you, but you notice like, he's he's staring at your guys' ass, like, but in a weird way. He's just like, he's like, really, like, not, you know, what happens? He's gonna get um, disciplined. That, that's a DP for sure. So is that that can so would that happen immediately in the shower? Uh, yes. Like usually. American History X, you know yeah. what they did to uh, Ed Norton? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. But not no, you can't do anything gay. Like it's not a gay thing. No, not so at there's all. no gay thing because I I've yeah. heard of otherwise and like so that's just in the movies. Yeah, I mean there. So 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 a lot. The of tension the, got real. In here. So the stuff, I got a girlfriend. By, I'm just saying, you know, I got a girlfriend. By the way, dude, I'm not. <laughs> hey man, you know, I'm just. I, I it's just fun. It's just it's yeah, fun yeah, for me, you know. For sure, for yeah. sure. Right? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, um, yeah, 100. percent Yeah. So no, it, it, people get raped in YA usually. What is that? What is that? Youth, Youth authority? authority. Yeah, where they where the kids there's not much rules and regulations like that. Um, but as you get to prison, it's n- there. That's just not allowed at all. Really? Yeah. What um, if you wanna? What if you see your homie? That's a black dude or a Hispanic dude. You got to act like you don't know him. Uh, what do you mean in terms of like, like if you see him on the yard? Mm-hmm. No, you can You guys can still chop it up. But in terms of crossing boundaries, you can't. Well, like well, I can't well, walk the, into. Well, what is crossing boundaries? What is it? Give me some examples. Of so that. it's all segregated. Really? Yeah. It's like blacks on one side. Asians on this here. side. Right. Really? <clears throat> so what's crossing boundaries? If you cross literally if I physical. Walk physical. Even though they're imaginary lines. If I see a, a, a Mexicans over there. Southern Mexicans. I cannot walk into their area. Damn. Yeah, I probably get what if stabbed. You, what if you do? It's going to cause a riot. Just by doing that? Absolutely. Damn. That's um, crazy. Yeah. Uh, by what? Your own or them checking you? Um, it would be usually they ask your people to check you really? like, oh, hey, bro, he's out of bounds. You know, like you guys got to take care of him or we take care of you. That's and they'll be like, all right, thank you. And then you get beat up. Like, yeah. You know. Um, you mentioned that, um, cause, cause I grew up in an abusive house. You know, my dad was a raging alcoholic and mm-hmm. dude, he beat, he beat us, me and my brother. Yeah. Like, even if you woke him up from a nap, like he beat me up with the keyboard. Yeah. Like yeah. fucking butt naked. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just hit, you know. Did you deal with stuff like that too? Absolutely. And then uh, as a kid, mm-hmm. yo, you know what's weird? Asian, like the way they parent, no one teaches. There's no book. Or, right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and hey, and they don't know how to communicate that well, huh? No, they like, don't. Like, hey, son, like this is, you woke me up from a nap. And when you do this, I get, um, don't get rest. Like none of that shit. No. It's just boom. And then you're, you're fucking beat down. Like, yeah. do you have stories like that? Yes. Uh, yeah. A lot, bro. A um, lot. Yeah, my, my, my dad was also an alcoholic. <clears throat> what did he drink? What did he drink back then? Uh, soju. Oh, damn. Yeah, he was like two bottles of soju in a bowl. Damn. Sip it. And yeah. then uh, did your mom enable stuff. that? Because my mom used to buy him his supplies. Yeah. Like, put him in the freezer, get him yeah, nice yeah, and cold yeah. and shit. Yeah, she did. And that I always kind of trip on that. Like, wow, she like allowed this to... Mm. But then did you do you ever blame your mom? Like, how come you didn't step in or... 
protect in, us. You in know the what I mean? beginning, like, I did. In the beginning, I was like, dude, you know, what kind of like mom are you? You know, but then as I got older, you know, going through all the Christian stuff, I started to understand what was cause how my mom and how our our um, how our culture functioned. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like they're submissive. They have to listen to, you know, the man of the house and, and this and that. So I started to get that. Damn. And then what do you remember your first memory uh as a kid, like as far as like this physical abuse and mm -hmm. shit? Yeah, do, I do. Do you remember that shit? I do. I think I was four or five years old. Mm -hmm. You have a brother or sister? I have an older brother. Oh me too. Oh, same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. he's about like 19 20 months older like a year and some change older than me was he in the same clique as you as same neighborhood okay okay yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha so um <clears throat> i remember like I, he just came home one time and then i think i you know as a kid i was trying to like spook him i was like what grade were you what grade were you i was like five years old so i was in kindergarten probably. kindergarten oh that's yeah. early yeah okay and then he like straight up football kicked me your dad yeah as hard yeah. as he could yeah what the it fuck? was like when I just flew. I remember getting the wind knocked out of me and all that. But yeah, he was drunk. He was completely like belligerent, and I, right. I didn't know. You, you didn't know? even I mean, know. You're five. You don't. You're just like, oh, dad sometimes likes to sing because my dad. I don't know what it is, and he yeah, gets drunk. Yeah, yeah, Asians with the karaoke music. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. We had one too, bro. Yeah, he yeah. would sing, sing. You know, <laughs> and it gets him loose. The yeah. liquor gets him loose, and they. <laughs> yeah, then they, they just go. Yeah, they like doing that, right? right? Did you have the karaoke set up and shit? I think we did. I I don't remember what it looked like, but I think we did. It was more like a horizontal type of like knob thing. It yeah, wasn't like the little yeah, speed. I don't right, know if you remember right, that. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, we had one too, and then yeah, you didn't. There's mic. You you could yeah, plug yeah, yeah. in your mic, and then yeah. they have instrumentals playing. Now, yeah. um, do you? Th did it progressively get worse when you got like from third grade, middle school? Oh yeah. Like, like, how did, when did you realize, okay, now I'm aware of this <clears throat> abuse? Like, when was that? Like, probably seven, eight years old. I, I started to see that he would, um, like, close fist everything, you know, like it was, before, before that, it was more like open hand slapping. Oh, like, just to discipline you? Yeah, like, and then it started getting, like, like, punching. Oh, he yeah. was punching you. Yeah, and then it went from punching to, like, um, you know, um, kendo sticks, you know, like, Is that the like wooden? yeah, the yeah, wooden sticks, yeah, yeah. Uh, brooms and hangers and then like whips and cords. And it just kept going after that. Yeah. And then w do you remember even through high school? No, no. Through high school. Um, <clears throat> so I got locked up at 12. At 12? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I went to Y at 12, um, did four years. Um, and yeah, I got out for 60 something day, like 67 days. And then after that went back into prison. So I, I didn't really see him from my teenage years, I would say, up in even until adulthood. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you, um, like, did you hold that in, like, over the years? Or, like, did you, what was your communication like with your pops? Like Just one or two word answers. Yeah, same thing. It's yeah. Like, yeah I, you know, that's weird, because it's, like, universal <coughs> with all these, uh, you know, with it doesn't matter if you're Japanese, Korean. Right, Filip all Asians. It, yeah, it's all Asians are, like, similar, where it's, like, did you sleep? You hungry? Right. And then you're, like, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, can I tell you a memory I had um, growing up? I, 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 You know, it must have been kindergarten, first grade, similar to you. And I must have blocked this out of my memory, but uh, my mom was barricading the door. Mm. And this is when I think we lived in Minnesota. And my, my brother, he he actually recalled this. He goes, you don't remember? Because uh, she opened up her mouth and it was full of her, blood. Her, yeah, it was blood. And she he knocked her teeth out. Oh, dang. But I was, um, I was so young that I was like, I, I think I blocked. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was so traumatic and scary yeah. that I blocked yeah. that out. And um, he was... Yeah, man. My, you know, my dad was small, but he wouldn't back down from any. Yeah, yeah. He was like I'm five not. foot. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll tell you another story. We're at Balboa Park uh, for a picnic or something, and this hillbilly white dude with the overalls, like a hillbilly yeah, gym yeah, looking yeah. motherfucker, <laughs> was blocking him. He was six f four. Yeah. My dad got out and like bum rushed. And step to this big dude, and yeah. I'm like, what? Like, what are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's just like he. Yeah. He's got. He had like a couple of loose screws that, up here. Or that's crazy, cause my dad was the same way. 
I remember how, where how, was we, he small? My dad is he's like five set five eight I think. Five, that's seven, small. Five, eight. Yeah, and he he I remember we were at a, a gas station one time in Omani, and I was a kid, and and this was the first time I seen my dad knock somebody out. Well, like he he was. So he, uh, he had gotten into alter- altercation with some Hispanic dude. I don't remember. Um, At the pump, gas pump? Yeah. Like, I, I think he, my dad was telling him to move up. But you know my dad? Asian but they don't people, know how to. They, exactly. They do it abrasively. <clears throat> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, I remember him. He's like, you move. That's all he said. <laughs> Yo. And then I was like, dad. And he's like, what'd you say? And he's like, go, 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 like that. You remember? I remember, dude. Yeah, yeah. And then the guy hops out like, man, make me move. And he's like, what? And then he goes, do it. And then my guy goes. Wait, who said do it? The guy. He said, go the, test me. The Hispanic me. dude. Yeah. Like, do it, bro. And then he's like, doing? <laughs> my dad didn't even know how to. <laughs> oh, he he said, doing? And he swung on him. Bam. And laid him out. I sw- oh, on, on my. God is my witness. And I was like, oh, I was like seven, eight years old. Damn. And that just made me realize like, damn, my dad could low-key fight bro <laughs> like well, you know. where did he learn that is that uh, he, he fought a lot in korea like he was born in korea your dad but was we're for- chinese yeah yeah that that's that's yeah, yeah, no yeah. That, yeah yeah right even the languages yeah yeah, yeah. we're the champong yeah people. yeah the okay. <laughs> yeah i like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so, so your he, dad was born in korea yeah yeah he Holy was shit. yeah so he fought a lot because he, i think he faced a lot of like discrimination because he was chinese but he wasn't you know what i mean but he, he couldn't understand korean too he speaks it fluently he even looks korean but your dad speaks korean yeah fluently Holy and shit. mandarin yeah what the fuck <clears throat> yeah Cause I remember during the war, or cause you know, like go, let's go by the history and yeah, shit. Yeah. Like my mom said, during the Korean War, they had to like leave their crib, just completely evacuate, and yeah. they would take, they would hide on the trains up to China. They, yeah, they yeah. would go up to China and shit. Yeah, that my 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 um, grandparents came from Sandong, which is northern China, and it was a one day boat ride to Suwon, like to to um yeah, korea that's a trip yeah, yeah so yeah. so that's how my parents were born there that's crazy yeah he yeah. speaks fluent fluent my mom too my mom's from busan she speaks fluent korean but it's like that countryside korean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Sat- people Sat- don't Sat- realize yeah people yeah. don't realize uh you know how there's different dialects uh, right you know how like southern like people from like how theo talks hey man get her done man get her done yeah there's yeah. that but in in parts of korea the country there's a dialect right Oh, that's cool. I like yeah. the way they talk. Yeah. They had they stretch out the words a little yeah, bit more. Yeah yeah. 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 So she has that dialect. She has that. So they lived in the country. Yeah, my, my mom lived in the countryside. My dad lived in Suwon, or he's from Suwon, which is like under near Seoul, like the main so when he speaks it's like that main dialect. Damn, you know? that's crazy. Yeah, and they, so. they so they like the food and like kimchi, they eat it all. One hundred percent. My my dad's a chef, so he also knows how to make like Bibimbap and the whole shit. Bap, yeah, kimchi like, Sundubu, kimchi uh, jjigae. All that shit. All that, bro. Wow. Dude. Yeah, yeah. My dad. You like it, obviously. You like love it. Love it, bro. Do you like it better than Chinese food? Or? I'm not going to lie, I do. A lot wow. of my homies are going to feel Whoa, some type of way about that. We might have to edit that, that out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love it. You Korean think they'll watch us? Your homies will watch us? I'm pretty. Yeah. Every, my homies support me. So oh, everything they, uh, I yeah, post. I also, that's why yeah, yeah. I support you, too. I saw you. I'm like, you know, I like that guy. Thank you, bro. Thank you. We might have to edit the. Oh, some of the stuff out though. I don't want them to think. Like, what, wrong... what did Johnny yeah, yeah, get beat yeah, up for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you said what? You weird? like kimchi? <laughs> Mongolian beef. <laughs> yeah. Mongolia. <laughs> um. So, um, do you, do you think that as far as like my dad, similar to your dad, was a shoe shine boy. Mm. So he would ditch school. Uh, they have a, a gangpe. Yeah, he was gangpe. A, he was a street, Gangster. Yeah, it, yeah he, he was a street. They call him street kids gangpe. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he would like fuck school yeah. and he would go down to uh, the docks mm-hmm. where the Navy uh, ships, the American ships right. would come in. Right, right. And he would, he would hustle. You know, like in the subways and shit, he would do that shit. So, so I'm thinking <clears throat> since he had to do shit like that and they had to really hustle – what do you think they have no tolerance for like the way they discipline us as their sons I, and stuff? Yeah, I think they just wouldn't want us to be like they didn't want us to struggle. I do remember my dad telling me that you're not going to live like me. You're going to have a better life as he was beating me. I remember that. Well, how old were you? then? I was like seven, eight years old. I, I had stole. I remember stealing something and oh. I guess he stole something as a kid. And well, he's what'd like, you steal? Uh, I stole a, a a Power Ranger 
from what, like Toys R Us? From uh, from Target, actually. Oh, you put just put it right in your pants. Yeah, I I had a jacket, a zip up. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. Like, oh, my stomach hurts. Dang, I was bad, bro. Oh, my stomach hurts. How did he catch you? How did he catch? you? When, when I, you know, when I was just doing this the whole time, and he's like, "What are you doing? What's wrong with you?" And oh. I said, "Nothing." You know that one yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. All right, I won't see. So he already knew. Yeah, and then he grabbed me, like he grabbed me up, and it just it slipped out from the bottom, and he's like, "Yeah, you should, yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. And I was like, "Oh, I knew as soon as that word. It's like as soon as I heard it, I was like, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get beat up right now." He he beat you up in Tarzan. He beat me up in the well. He smacked me up in the parking lot, and then, and then like in the back seat type of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then when we got home, he beat my ass for that. Yeah, he's like. Did he use an object or? He did. He he told me to put my hands out. Yeah. When he was hitting it, and he was like, "If you steal, I'm gonna basically break your hands next time." Yeah. This is just a fair warning, and he would beat me, and then, yeah, it was bad, man. I'm not gonna lie, it was bad. Did you ever get caught stealing cologne? Stealing cologne. Cologne. Yeah, because we <laughs> we're, we do that at the mall. <laughs> you know, you get samples. And shit. So you stole samples? No, no, no. We but then I would go back to get the main polo. Oh, you know the okay. green. The, remember the OG green yeah, polo yeah. bottle? Yo, you, you, you remember the I OG? Remember the OG. That. Come on, yeah, man. bro. But before Polo Sports, yes, the yes, OG yes. green. <laughs> yeah, then we brought. Yo, yeah, dude. I and do then my cousin that. Andy. Yeah, dude. We got caught up and where the um they had undercover security guards and shit. And then, dude, you know, security, they, they caught us, dude. So they were like the fake shoppers. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that's they waited crazy. for us to to exit. Then they, they got us. Yeah, yeah. But I remember, yeah. I, what is it about? Like, yeah, we all went through that time period where we stole. <laughs> My my Korean homie Joe Hunt. I mean, sorry Joe, but I have to I have to kind of <laughs> I kind of have to air you out. Yeah. <laughs> we were at North. Remember, you know, um, Nordstrom. Nordstrom, of course. Yeah, yeah. We were in there, and I he was so slick. I didn't even know what he was doing. Wow. But he uh back then, you know, because we all wanted the cool gear, Stussy and the Rip Curl, yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember like he had. I thought he was just trying on clothes, but he had like bundled himself. Yeah. Where he had, he like went in the dressing room and just had all this fresh gear. And then where I didn't even know that what he was doing. And then he, we got caught that way too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, but dude, yeah, that's not fun. Cause yeah. that brings shame to your family. Absolutely. I remember stealing at Super A. There was a market, like a grocery store. What'd you get? Super A. I loved the neon night crawlers. Do you remember the the worms, the neon worms? Oh yeah, the Fruitoli worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to have Jinko. Like back in the day, we would steal from Mervin's, right? You oh, remember yeah, Mervin's? Oh yeah, dear Mister Mervin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember the, the so commercial. I would, yeah. yeah. I would steal uh, um, the, these big old pants, like Jinko pants, and then they were like parachute pants. Yeah, yeah, back yeah, yeah. Then, but way to like four XL on a little kid, basically. Yeah, right? yeah. But then I would I would kind of use a string to tie the the, the bottom, bottom part. And I stuffed all this. Oh, like that's a telly whole... from kids when you put the 40 ounce in. That's yeah, a telly. Yeah, 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 a, yeah, yeah. And I would stuff all the just chips, whatever. And I did this for like at least three months straight where I would you go in almost caught. every day. You and I, Yeah, I would clear the shelves. And yeah. I would go and then I would just like give them to my friends or I would even try to sell them to people like mm-hmm. 25 cents for this whole thing. They're like, what? You know, so anyway, um, then one day, I guess I didn't tie the string tight enough. And I just remember like a little like like one of the, the cashiers was like, was she oh, hey, you? Johnny. Yeah. She was like, hey, Johnny. Like she wasn't trying to. She was like, see you later. I was like, oh, Bye. she knew your name. Yeah. Oh, because like, neighbor... I would go there all the right, time. Right. Right. But you would never buy anything. Well, I would buy like little things, like a, oh, a piece of gum. That's it. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, the juicy smart. fruit. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then, you're smart. Like that was smart yeah. to do that. And then um, it just, it slipped out the little frutoli. And then all of it and poured out. Just one. Ooh. And then I was like, oh. And we had that awkward like standstill where she was like, and oh. then I just took off. You ran? And when I ran, it was like, she was just falling out of my pants, bro. And then they oh. caught me. Who's they? The 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 security guard oh, and, and everyone else. They put little handcuffs on me too. I remember. Did they? So my, what? What? And then my dad came to pick you up from the store. And he was pissed, bro. What was that beat down? That was bad. That was one of the worst. Like he broke. So he he, he used a mop stick. You you know oh. the thick ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. dude. He broke that in half, and then he broke the half in half. So he broke it broke it into four quarters. On your what? Uh, what part? On of your my body? back. On my butt. 
Yeah, Damn. and then I had to take like a few days so off. So you of went school. Conan the Barbarian on 100%, your ass. One hundred percent, bro. Damn, yeah, dude. Yeah. So when with the beatdowns happened, you did you cry at all? Of course. Yeah, you yeah. Did. I was screaming, no, stop, you know. But at the end of the day, like it got to the point where I I hardened to it. At at some point, I was yeah. just like, all right, whatever, I'm gonna get beat. Like, and I would just go in and be like, do your thing, and then. Oh, so you were you, you knew the consequences. <clears throat> yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, did you ever get in, into drugs? I did. So, yeah. did you? What happened when that during that time period when they caught you or they knew that you were on? My something? parents never knew because at that time I would I would run away. You would. I would run away and hang out with my homies like when I was twelve years old. You know. So what were you do? Just smoke a weed or? Yeah, it started with weed, but I tried like, like, um, like meth. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I've smoked that a few times. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. So, Chasing the dragon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't even, can I tell you, yeah. I, went, I just ended up, this was ASU. Yeah. I, I just ended up at someone's apartment and I just hanging out and this guy goes, you want to smoke this? I go, yeah, sure. Yeah. I thought it was just, you know, I was like, you know, I wanted weed, but that was the next, I guess the next best thing. Right, right. Yeah. That but, um, crazy. so they never caught you while you're under the influence? No. At all? At all. At all, like, like never once. I never even, cause I knew I, I don't know. I was kind of fearful. Like, if I'm under the influence, you know, I wouldn't know what's going on, and I'd probably die. Like, I had that kind of yeah. heart, you know. They yeah, yeah, beat yeah. me, and I just like die, cause my heart is already racing or whatever. I just thought about stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm not gonna let them see that, cause in the Asian culture, yeah, drugs man. are really looked down upon. Like, stealing is bad, but like, if you do drugs, oh, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, you're yeah. just like a low, like the lowest, lowest of, of the, the low. low. Yeah. And so I was just like, I'm never gonna do that in front of them. I remember. Can I tell you a story of um? This is back uh when I went to ASU too. Um, yeah. on winter break, I went to uh. I wanted to hang out with these girls and stuff, and I ended up. I always put myself in the friend zone. Like I'd be like, I'd meet the girls, but then I, the homies would come, and then they ended up hooking up with the girl. Yeah. But I'm yeah. like, <laughs> that, that's just like my, you know, that just that's just my whole story, you know. But then I'd have to act like I'm just like, hey, I was. I'm the one. I'm the dating service type dude. I'm that dude. You're the matchmaker. But, but yeah, but yeah. I'm like, well, if I'm gonna do this, they're all doing LSD. And they're like, hey, we got tabs, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's always like the, the hippie crowd or whatever. And I ended up doing a few tabs of acid. Yeah, yeah. And I took my mom's car, so I'm like, I lost track of time, bro. And so I was partying all night, and I was on, on I'm on acid, and I'm trying to drive home, and it's the sun's out the Yo. next day. So I'm driving back. You know, this is in Tempe. I have to drive back to Gilbert. And I roll in with my mom's Celica. And I fucking, I try to go, you know, I try to like ninja sneak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do my little ninja sneak, you know, entrance. And then my mom's waiting for me literally on the couch. You know, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah same yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, where have you been? You know, I go, oh, no, I was just, you know, she goes, yeah, you, you know, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. better go up and. You know, because she was just worried that I was missing. Right, you know right, how right. Asians they don't yeah, know. Yeah, like yeah. They, she had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. And Asians don't know if they're on this drug, this drug, or this. they don't. She didn't know I was on a hallucinogenic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm seeing prisms. You know, I'm like, I'm <laughs> tripping. I'm still tripping, seeing shit. You know. Yeah. So I go, fuck. I'm in the clear because I know my dad is still in the room. So I tiptoe. You know, on the you know, go in the room, and I, and then I'm laying down. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> She, you know, I'll talk. I'll talk to her. I'll, I'll straighten things out. But then I hear boom, boom, oh, yeah. boom, boom, boom. It's my dad. He goes, "Yes." You go, "Yeah, yeah. Kage. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to the store." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. And I go, "Oh no!" So he doesn't even know, bro. I'm on LSD, <laughs> and this motherfucker's like wanted me to go to the Kage, the store. To, to I have to work. <laughs> Yo, it's in the morning. It's like seven, eight in the morning, bro. And I'm on fucking all this fucking acid. And my dad's like, yeah, you, Kage, you go, yeah. come on. And I'm just like, fuck. Yeah. So I had to go to the fucking store. He had, dude, I, I, w I, dude, I had to mop the whole fucking store. And I'm like looking at the ground and I'm seeing fucking, <laughs> fucking prisms. And dude, it was crazy. But that's, you know. That's the thing. That's a yeah. whole generational gap of this guy. This is the thing. They think he th thought I was just lazy. Mm. I'm on drugs. 
I'm not lazy. I'm on a, I'm, dude, I am I'm on, on LSD, yeah. bro. <laughs> and that, how do I explain that to my people, folks from Korea? I'm on this thing. It's like, it's a mind altering substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm seeing crazy shit yeah. right now. It's like things melting and right. yeah. <clears throat> but that's a trip, man. Like as far as just, um, you know, like the parenting, it's like, you know, it's crazy that I'm. Uh, we kind of, because it's because it seems like you're doing the right thing, you know, mm -hmm. like right now, and you're like right, you're walking the straight and narrow, right? Yes, sir. Uh, do you want to kind of get into that, like as far as uh, your uh, spiritual journey now? Yeah, so, yeah. Because yeah. you kind of got that's your past. Now yeah, you're yeah. doing the right thing. Right, right. right. Yeah. yeah. And so how'd you get into that, like? So you know, my mom actually got me into it. You know, my mom really? was yeah, she was hardcore Buddhist when she was young, <clears throat> when we were young, and. She ended up um, converting to Christianity and yeah. she, um, you know, would always kind of like, like scold us and chastise us as kids, you know, and be like, oh, you're doing bad. But at one point it kind of stopped, mm. you know, and then I noticed this inner peace in my mom. And, you know, we're living so chaotic. Like you, I noticed like you still have a husband who's, who's technically drinking. He's mm -hmm, beating mm -hmm, on you. Mm -hmm. You have not just me, but my brother who's also in prison. You have two kids in prison. You have no money. You're still on Section 8. You know, we, we grew up in Section 8. Uh, right. Describe to the viewers and listeners um, what that is. Low income low housing. Income housing. Okay. So you get gov government supplemented benefits like, you know, SNAP benefits, and which is food stamps. For, so um, you get your EBT card? Yeah, EBT. Mm -hmm. Back then it wasn't EBT. It was the ducats. Like you had to, it was like the monopoly money. Oh, it's like vouchers and shit? Yeah. Like that. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. So we weren't the stereotypical <laughs> Chinese, lot of money and this no. and that. No, we were like poor, poor. Oh, really? Poor, poor, yeah. <clears throat> and that's stereotypically, that's against what people think Asians are, you know? It's Absolutely. Like, oh, my kid goes to UCLA. Oh, yeah, my yeah. kid goes to Harvard. Right, and right. Like, that shit's out the window. Yeah, They're yeah, all yeah. just trying to eat and survive yeah, and exactly, shit, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we grew up with a lot of Hispanics. And mm -hmm. and so so my mom, you know, she, she was still in that zone of just, like, emptiness. And, and she should have been empty and void, mm -hmm. but she was very peaceful. Okay. And then... um. You know, she would say that I, I have the world's best husband. And that's when I realized she was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, because of the abuse. Right. I yeah, thought, okay, she something happened to her. Yeah. But then she was, and I would ask her mom, you, you know, why are you so peaceful? Like, did you just lose your mind? Like, you know, honestly. You thought she, she was losing her mind. Yeah. Okay. And she said, no, 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 no. I, I've been going to church. And really? I was like, okay, you for sure lost your mind. Yeah, yeah, right. Because yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just like, okay, in prison, you guys look, we look down on people who go to church. In prison, you do. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah. Was so this a sign of weakness or something? Or? It, it really is because, like, when there's a, a I don't know, it's kind of like you, you have to stay ten toes, which means you have to stay solid. You have to stand on your own feet. So mm. if you're leaning on something and you're, that's helping you with your depression, it's like ah, you can't you're handle weak, it yourself. You're a weak person. Though. Right. That's what they're thinking. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, I meet, I, I, I talk to my mom and she goes, you got to come to church, you know, like, try it out. And I'm like, never. Nah, you're like, no. Nah. Never. I'm Asian. I don't believe in a white Jesus. Like, how is it? How was a, it? <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. I'm is like, it an Asian church? It, yeah, it was an Asian church. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Chinese, Korean, like. They had Chinese congregation, Korean, and English. Oh, and Spanish. Okay, so all. Yeah, everybody. It's pretty diverse. But, um, you know, I was narrow-minded at the time. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And my mom's car breaks down. So I get over there, uh, you know, I, I, I bring her from San Bernardino mm -hmm. back to Temple City. Okay. You know, and then bring her to church. And then, yeah, I talk to the pastor. And that's when the pastor kind of explains and breaks everything down. First thing really? he says is like, you know, talks about why I was empty, what was causing my emptiness. He broke it down like that? Yeah. Damn. And he was use, utilizing a lot of analogies, you know, talking about. Can you give about, me one? Yeah. So... He talked about like um, an apple tree and a seed, right? Okay. He said, when you look at the seeds of an apple, right, where are the apples? I said, okay, what is he talking about? Why is this guy talking about apples? I think he's on LSD, right? <laughs> but he actually, he, he says, but when you plant that, the seed as it grows, you water it, whatever, it starts to produce what kind of fruits? And I'm like, apples. And he goes, likewise, when you look at a baby, where is the sin? Where is the evil deeds? Right? But as it grows, as it matures, it starts to produce what kind of things? Lying, 
cheating, stealing, et cetera. Oh, it's just in the integrated naturally into the seed. Right. That's what right. generationally. Right. So oh. he was ex- expressing <coughs> to me in, in such a simple way, generational trauma and, he, and, and, and sin. Wow. And I was like, oh, and then he asked me, do you know what sin is? And I said, I've heard of it. It's, it's just doing evil to people. And he goes, not so. Huh. And I said, what? Every Christian, because in prison, we had chaplains come yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had Catholics. We had, you know. So <sighs> he started to explain that, you know, basically that the sin was inherited, right? You're Chinese, he said. You didn't choose to be Chinese. You were born that way. It's hereditary. Right. And then yeah. he said, Adam, if you believe in Christianity, he says, Adam and Eve, we all started from them. They sinned and it passed down to us. Oh, that makes sense. Right. So then I was like, oh, he said, you know, as a kid, who taught you how to steal? And I thought about it. Nobody. Inherently, you just had it I just knew how to do it. Yeah. And I would lie. Who taught me that? And he told me, did your parents ever teach you that? And I said, no. So I'm thinking maybe outside forces. That's interesting, dude. Yeah. Yeah, No. Yeah. We just kind of pick up. It's just in us. Right. <laughs> it's in us right. like the seed right. of the apple. It's right. in us. Right. And then he was saying that too. He said, you know, huh. like um, if you think about it, he said, you know, why when you when you were born, did your parents teach you how to breathe? And I was like, No, it's part it's part of you. Yeah. Like, what about eating? No, they you know, it's part of yeah. us. We're coming out looking for the nipple. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But he said, But why do they have to teach you to do good? Why do they have to teach you to be respectful? Right. And that's when I was like, oh, it clicked to me because yeah. you, it's not part of you. Yeah, it's right? not. Yeah. So I was like, it's not a part of your, your make. You have to learn that. Behavior. Exactly. Oh, how to respect crazy. people, how to, you know, go under your elders, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, that's crazy. So then that's when I started to realize. And then he goes, you're normal. You're just being normal. But no one ever taught you this way. The, everyone was condemning you. Right. So that's why I was feeling like I'm this imperfect person trying to produce perfect results. Yeah. And that's why I kept feeling that emptiness and void in my house. That does make sense. You know? Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And so, so when he, when he came to kind of give you that pep talk, did, it, did a light bulb come? Go 100%. On? So it started to, for the very first time, make me feel that my heart was like i started to feel like he had the anecdote for something that i was missing because mind you this is the first time i met this dude which is a pastor yeah. and he was literally like dissect like he was pulling my heart out in front of me and was like this is who you are so he's like you know i never told anyone i was empty being a gang member you can't show that that's a sign of weakness. weakness exactly but he was like you're i never told my mom either my oh, mom right. until just recently didn't even know the crimes that i committed Oh, she yeah, didn't know yeah, why yeah. I was in prison. Oh, right, right. Right. So, so you know, I never told her anything. You mm. know, so yeah, yeah, that makes sense, man. That yeah. makes sense. So, mm-hmm. can we give him a shout out real quick? I like this guy. Yeah, yeah Pastor Kim. <laughs> shout out, Pastor Kim. Yeah, he's a Kim. Yeah, he's a Korean pastor. He's a Kim. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> what would he op- be open to come into the Steve Ruby show? I I would. I'll ask him definitely. But he's gonna preach straight gospel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, straight that, up, that he's a, a straight first. pastor. Bro. That would be a first. You yeah. know what? I'm open to it. If Are he, you really? yeah, yeah, well, I'll talk. Can to he him bring? About that. Do you think that'd be a good idea? So, Pastor Kim, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'll we talk. We love to you him here on it. the Steve <laughs> Weeby Show. I'm. I'll have an open forum. I got a Bible somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I used to go to church camp, dude. I know uh, I, uh, Philippians, <laughs> Ephesians. Yeah, I know yeah. some of that stuff. <laughs> Let's break down. Will he break down New Testament? Absolutely. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Absolutely. What He's, about like some of the uh, Galatians? Uh, yes, he'll break down Romans, Hebrews, the whole New Testament, the whole Old Testament. So you hip? Are you hip to Ephesians? Absolutely. As far as the spiritual warfare. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, yes. You know about that book? Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, <coughs> so do you study the Bible? Yes, I do. I've read it front to back twenty times. It's a fascinating book. Isn't it really it? is. As far as uh, the interpretations, yes. and what's written, yeah. Yes. So, do you read it every day? I try to read it every day. I read parts of it every day. You do definitely. Yeah. Is there a particular book or verse that kind of stands out, and we'll, we'll kind of wrap it up here? Like, yeah, can you yeah. can you like just end it with some positivity? Yeah, uh, yeah. As far as uh, what 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 kind of stands out. Uh, for me, Hebrews chapter ten verse fourteen. That's is Old my Testament. Go-to. Yeah. New Testament. That's new. Mm-hmm. Hebrews. 10, Hebrews 14. is new. Yeah. Okay, so break that down. So Hebrews ten fourteen says, "For by one offering 
he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. That's King James Version, right? Old English. Oh. But if we break it down, it says one offering, Jesus Christ, perfected forever. Perfected is in what tense? Past tense, meaning already completed. If I say I completed something, it's already done. Oh. So we're already perfect. And then it says forever, eternally, right? Oh. Them that are sanctified. So a lot of people, why I continued to sin was because when I looked at myself, I thought I was a sinner. So what do sinners have to do? They have to continuously sin. So I was living this up and down lifestyle, this yeah. sin repent lifestyle that I didn't know. Right. I would feel, I would do something, do drugs and feel then feel ba bad. Feel bad, yeah. And then try to quit and then binge. Yeah. And then try to be good and then try to, you understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And in the end, I would, I, I didn't realize that that's what I was doing. But when pastor said, you're perfect, not because you did anything, yeah. but by one offering. Even I knew that Jesus Christ died for our sins. Yeah. Right? But when he said that he died for your sins, meaning all of your sins, past, present, and future, right? Yeah. He washed them all. That planted hope inside of my heart that I can go to heaven. Like, I, I don't have to be in hell. Because I knew I was going to go to hell crazy. for the things That's that crazy. I did. Yeah. That one word has led me until now. It has changed me completely. And now I go to prisons, preach the same gospel to people, you know. And That's people's... Great. Hearts change, bro. Can I yeah. can I ask you something as far as because I've always wondered this Adam and Eve, right? Yeah. The serpent in the garden. Yeah. Could it possibly be a reptilian? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say that in the Bible. Oh. But it 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 is a serpent, you know. Because you know what I mean, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I see yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah, what you're yeah. Because that that yeah. would be trippy. Yeah, that is. If a trip. you know what I'm saying, yeah, if yeah, it, yeah. if it was the reptilians were around back then, yeah, and yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. was like it shape shifted and. Yeah, or something. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. so. I mean, yeah. I'm just. I. I. Th I think about these things. Right. right. You know? Well, Satan is a shapeshifter, right? And he is a deceiver. Really? Yeah. He's. He's the father of all lies, right? So. So it's a shapeshifting kind of. It may be a shapeshifting <laughs> alien, then, right? <laughs> People could say that. It doesn't Yo, say the terminology. I know. Yeah. Alien, yeah. 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 Right? yeah. But but, but I, I see what you're saying. Way. Yeah. Yeah. People That's may. That's crazy, interpret. dude. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're open to that, even those interpretations. I mean, I, this if. For me personally, I just see it as okay. He's a serpent because it says that's yeah, what it is. He's a serpent. Yeah, I you could add little things to it, I guess. Yeah. But for me, I I just but it had accept. influence. Yeah. The the serpent had influence. A lot of influence. Yeah. And could it, it possibly knew how to communicate to them as well? Like yeah, yeah. It literally says, says he it, he tell he tells her. I'm a reptilian, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I just I'm not gonna let it go. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it's a reptilian. <laughs> All right, man. So I like, dude, keep doing, you're doing the right thing. You know, I yeah. can see, I know I just met you, but I yeah. could tell because I've been, I, I've been, I've seen your past interviews. I'm like, oh, he, he's learned from his, his past is his past. Right, right. And now, don't you think that your life is blessed now because you're being mm. of service now? 100%. And you're, you know what I mean? You're used, you're used as a vessel to spread positivity Absolutely. and spiritualism and whatnot yeah yes sir yeah now yeah. where could uh let's uh can we plug um do you want to plug your church too as well uh church i i kind of keep you, it okay okay yeah, okay yeah, okay you, you want to plug your instagram now yeah yeah okay, instagram yeah. is no script fellowship yeah no script fellowship i also have a youtube channel it's johnny dash chang mm -hmm. um and then i have tiktok which is the t-h-e-e -E johnny chang my name that's what's up yeah. now what are your like old homies think about your your, your uh, path now are they are they happy for you they're super happy they're they're like um, oh you're doing the right thing huh? yeah like, yeah you're doing yeah. it and right. so they're cool about that yeah they're super yeah, yeah. they're they're i'm i i've technically i didn't drop out of my gang i never even dropped the affiliation i yeah. just graduated from my neighborhood oh yeah right. so i'm still you know technically part of it but it's mm -hmm. not it's it's really family my brother's in it my other a lot of my homies like most of us are brothers Real, so yeah. it's like family. It's legit family. Like real family, generations of family. Yes. Right. Yeah, so right. that's why it's like, you know, we're so tight knit in that. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? And, and um, that's why they rebel the way they would do. Because it's like, you didn't just mess up my homie, you messed up my blood brother type right, of thing. Right, right. So it's, so it's more different. deep. It was more deep. Absolutely. Dude, well, dude, it was good meeting you, dude. For sure, bro. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Um, and Pastor Kim. Holler at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Amen. Holler at me, dude. Seriously, Amen. seriously. <laughs> if you want to talk, if you want to do the scriptures, let's do it right. Let's yeah, break yeah. out. Let's break out the the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word. Break it out. The text. Yeah, let's and do let's it. let's analyze it. And you know, I'm open to that. Wow. You know, I'm open amazing, to yeah. Man. I'm open to that. Yeah. If if he's down to come here, you see him where I live. Yeah, Is he yeah. down to come down here? He's down to oh, come. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Is he in the South Bay? Where's he at? Like he's, uh, he's in Temple City. And um if Jesus was born in a manger, he Yeah, yeah. He's hey dude, if you come, come I'll have kimbap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so dude, that's he'll another incentive. That. Yeah, he'll love it. Pastor <laughs> Kim, bro. If you come down to the Steve Weeby show, I'll have some Korean kimbap for you, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shike. I'll Shike. do the whole nine yards for you, man. <laughs> Keep doing the positive thing, man. You know, I'm willing to talk to you about it. I want you to break it down, the, the <coughs> scriptures, the text, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you, oh, I, I do another podcast called Scissor Bros. Uh, definitely support Jeremiah, my brother, my Scissor Bros new comedy special, Daddy, okay? YouTube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins. Scissor Bros episodes, YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. Those episodes drop um, every Friday. Would you be open to being a guest on Scissor Bros? Absolutely. Yeah, we do bro. some crazy challenges and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. Have you seen it? I've seen some of it. Yeah, I've you seen, seen the, the last one with um with Timothy de la Ghetto, right? Yeah, yeah. I was, you yeah. know what? I was. I have to apologize. I wasn't really myself, and people yeah. thought I was like off my rocker. Me and Jeremiah are cool. I love, I love the guy. He's he's my scissor bro. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was just, you know, I was, I, you know what? When I drink rock stars, you know, I I get a little kind of hyped up, and mm. you know. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I love Jeremiah, guys. So. Uh, if uh, go to, I'm working on a new musical project, so stay tuned for that. I'm five songs in, okay. Um, if you want to send any packages, oh wait, oh, StevieWeebyBandcamp.com, YouTube.com. Yeah, just let it ride. <laughs> let it ride. That's I. It's okay. I'll tolerate it. Um, if you want to send any packages, send your stuff to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. Dude, Johnny, keep doing you, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you.